Hi guys. Hi. Good Hello. evening. How are you doing tonight? Good. And you? What's nice? Everything nice. I'm okay. I'm tired, but I'm okay. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm tired. Of you one more time? Yes. And it's ah uh, yeah, it's the middle of the week. It's usually like that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I want to say that when it's Friday. That's when I can really say that. <laughs> you don't have classes on Saturday? I do. Sunday? Yes, Not on Sundays. Have? Not on Sunday, so that's good. I do. Wow. Hi, Marvin. Hey, You're the passenger, Thanks. right? <laughs> don't drive yeah. and study. All right, that's good. Yeah, no, I am going to. So in uh, traffic to my home right now. You're yeah. stuck in traffic? Oh, no. Yeah, but uh, I stay always on point to my class. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, in time, on time. On time. Yes, yeah. that's great. I That's awesome. I appreciate that, Marvin. Hi, Carla. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. A little okay, tired. Yeah, you're happy. You're, you're black. No, he's, on, he's in the car. That's what's happening. <laughs> And yes. Leo, yes. you guys are so punctual. I love that. <laughs> Everybody's in class on time. That's awesome. All righty. Well, we can begin. <clears throat> Let's do it. We're going to go to section 4.5 and we're about to finish this so quickly. Gio. Hi. You look sleepy. Yes. Oh, I'll what wait. happened? <laughs> I can't sleep at night. Oh, no. You have insomnia? <laughs> All right. Well, can you read the objective for me, please? Okay. <laughs> I saw uh, that objective. <laughs> in this class, you will learn how to de develop skills in listening for details. De develop note task taking skills, listening to new stories. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. I want to make sure. <clears throat> after you watch the video you're going to have to answer the following questions so i not only want you to answer the questions but every time you do a listening or you watch a video the best way of harnessing it is by taking notes on the expressions new vocabulary okay not only the answer so try to do more go the extra mile anyway these are the questions you have to answer can you read just the questions please marvin maybe you want to Yes, the que the question, just the number question. one, all, all just of the question. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, uh, yes. number one, yes. When did the first story happen? Right. Happen. Yes. And number two, what happened on the history? The first history. On the first and story. Right, the first right. story. Yes. And number three, where did the second story happen? Uh huh. Okay, so you're doing two things with the pronunciation, Marvin. Thank you. It's okay. Uh -huh. So okay. happened, and this is story. It's not history, okay? I think I history. have told you the difference between both, right? So you say history of El Salvador in 1981, president, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, that's history, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the ones from last night, when you were saying, oh, the Cotca drill and the, the balloon, the hippo, that, those are stories. That is a difference, okay? Stories. 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 stories yes stories. like toy story yeah, all right yeah. number three and uh-huh continue marvin ah okay i muted you i think uh-huh yes 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 number four i'm sorry number four uh what happened on the second history right second story yes yeah, story second story connected story ah okay Second story, okay. And number five, where did the, where did the third, the third story happen? Story, mm -hmm. right? And number six, what happened on the third, third story? Okay, if you want to do this with me, which I would recommend, let's everyone, let's go to section four point six, and you can listen from my audio and answer on your computer. If you cannot do that, take notes on every detail. 
all right so that we can answer the questions at the end are you ready yes yes Alrighty, here we yeah. go different news hi everyone by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details develop note-taking skills listen to news stories we will listen to an audio program with different news stories your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place when did it happen and what actually happened so let's listen to the audio program at this time a man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three-and-a-half-meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, do you think you have the answers or you want to listen one more time? One more time, please. One more time, One more time. One more time. Right, here we go. Hi. One more time. Class, you'll develop skills in listening for details. Develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place when did it happen and what actually happened so let's listen to the audio program at this time a man was seriously injured on sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in thailand it seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads the man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. You probably have the answers by now. Have the answers by now. <laughs> and then you do the voice of the second one, Alvin. <laughs> he had your accent. All right, where did the first story happen? In Thailand. Thailand. Thailand, like in China, Thailand. Thailand. Right. Two. What happened in the first story? A man was, man was almost, almost a strangled, almost strangled to death by a snake. By a snake. 
almost strangled to me death by a snake. You know the meaning of strangled? Estrangulado, maybe. Ah, yeah, right? It's similar to the Spanish word. Okay, you know. Where did the second story happen? In Australia. In Australia. Australia. The coast of Australia. Oh, Down there. Australia. Australia. <laughs> what happened on the second story? Two teenage girls. Two teenage girls, girls who disappeared were found. Were found. Appeared. Were found. Okay, great. Uh, where did the third story happen? Hollywood. In Hollywood, Hollywood California. 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 What California. Two police officers were rescued by the DFF. They were chased. officer were rescued by the DFF. They were chased. They were chased. Yeah. It's just laying there. Um, okay, well, oh, everything is great. Yes, sir. Great. Great job, team. All right, good job. Good job listening. Um, so, almost done, right? Yes, this is where I wanted us to get, because last night we were practicing a past continuous and past simple. Now we have to learn a whole new structure. You're going to, it's kind of difficult, but you're going to like it. Okay. I promise. So let's watch the video and please write down the structure because I'm going to ask you at the end. Ready? You want to read the objective, please? Desenia? Okay. Um, by the end of this lesson, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Let me see how long this is. I'm going to play it here so it's bigger. Take Hi, notes, everyone. Please. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit. But the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend. But, uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last weekend. So that is that X, if you will. All right, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in a different color. Um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party. And when I got there, there was food at the party. And then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see, the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker, and therefore this is what took place. Right? As we'll analyze the examples that are there, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. All right, wait, let, let's stop there for a second. I was working out is the past event, 
that's that X if you will what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker so th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event so it's that little blue circle that you see there when I came back that's that event there that's the uh, past event okay someone had stolen my wallet so um, I came back but before this event someone had stolen my wallet all right they were able to steal it that's the past event so that's that X if you will because I had forgotten to lock the locker all right now that is the past perfect event as you can see there let me just give one last example here I didn't have any money because I had forgotten my wallet at home. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color second all right and um, before this I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home and that's the reason why I didn't have any money right so as you can see both events are um, are related okay um how clear is this? Is it really clear or you need more examples? More examples. Example. Have to press. More examples. Yes, you're yeah. definitely going to practice. Don't worry about that. You know you will. Okay, but I will give you some examples. Um, hold on. So, look, guys, the thing is that if two situations happen in the past, the oldest or the first situation is going to be past perfect, okay? And the second situation is going to be past simple. This is when we have both. If it's past continuous, the same thing. It can be past simple or past continuous, okay? So, um... Let me see if I can find an image because I cannot show you the video. The video is really good, but I can't. Fast. Let me see. If not, I want to show it to you. Yeah. Teacher mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Diane. Yeah, it's a really good video. Um, I'm going to send it to you because I cannot play it in class, okay? But look, it's perfect. So we have two situations, right? He didn't pass the exam and he didn't study. What situation happened before? What was the first situation, guys? He didn't, he study. didn't study. He didn't, he didn't study. study. So this is the first we one. And, oh, my gosh. <laughs> first, you understand that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Second. Okay. <laughs> it's better. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Hold on. So anyway, first situation, second situation, and this is first one. This is the second one. So this one has to be past perfect. And this one has to be what? Past perfect. Past simple. Oh, okay. Sorry. It doesn't matter what order what order you use, you can say it the other way around or you can say it in order, but you have to respect the the conjugation because that's how you know what situation happened first and if you can see the example it says here he failed his test so this is number two right we're starting the sentence with number two because he hadn't studied first situation okay or i can say he hadn't studied so he failed his test it doesn't matter what i have to respect is the grammar is that clear the first one is for per past perfect always, and the second one is simple past. Uh, or past progressive, depending on what you want to say. Okay. Um, mm -mm. Can the you take a screenshot of this, Carla, maybe? 
and send it to the group so you guys can have it. The most older is the past perfect always. The oldest situation is past perfect. The oldest. Yes. Okay. And we use it in Spanish, guys. When I learned it, I had to think of it in Spanish and then translate it. So it's like. El escuchado. No, it's like me saying, ustedes ya habían estado en clase de inglés antes. Habían estado. Why? What is the second situation? This is the second one. Okay, so it's implied that you are here right now. So this is the second situation. And I'm asking if there is a first situation in the past. But yes, we say, había llegado, ya se había ido el bus cuando llegué. Okay, so we use it in Spanish and it's exactly the same in, in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, miss, mm -hmm. it's like uh, when we say uh, we use the the verb haber plus uh, any any verb with ado in the end. Yes, exactly. No, but what this means is is the verb is in the past, so it's had. It's always going to be had plus past participle. This is the structure of it. Okay, yeah, and in, in Spanish is similar because it, we use the, the haber okay. plus uh, any verb with uh, fini with fin uh, uh, which, which finishes finishing ado ado edo ido. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, this is this is not haber anymore. This is había, habían, exactly, habían. Ah, so all the conjugations and then the verb in the past participle form. So it's what we use in Spanish. The same in the same situations, you're gonna use it in English, exactly the same. Okay. Okay, there's probably a, another example here. So look, this is when we lose our dignity running after the, the bus, but this is a train, I guess. So look, this happened first, right? <laughs> 15 minutes later. Oh, come on, guy. It's gone. <laughs> So this has to be in the past perfect. Unfortunately, the train had had left first situation. You see that? At 9 a.m. And the guy arrived at 9.15. So that's past. He arrived. When he arrived to the train station, the train had left. Or the train had left when he arrived to the train station. Okay, that's another example. But what we're going to do to make it more practical, because I'm not going to be explaining for 20 minutes, you're going to get tired, is I'm going to send you two dialogues for you to analyze them, but also to practice them. So you can read them, take turns, okay, practice all of them. Here are the, the dialogues. And if you have the chance, modify, well, actually, I will require you to modify one dialogue in pairs, okay? Try to use the with different situations, but just follow the model, okay? And then we're gonna do exercises. So I sent you the image, you have any questions? I guess not. All right, let's practice and modify one of the two dialogues, practice both. All right, here we go. Here we go. I, I will be the A. Okay. How was your day of yesterday? Day off yesterday. Because I have a letter B. Day off and after I really enjoyed it. Because I 
haven't had a day of Okay. okay. How okay. was your day of yesterday? Um, I much. Let me see. Hmm. Josie lives in in Spain or what? Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I see uh, her number, cell phone. Josie. I did, live in Argentina. Live in Argentina. <laughs> No, really. Yes. It's really? almost midnight here. That's why I was telling you I was already tired. Argentina plays tonight. Oh, I don't like soccer. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, in case you you heard uh, some go in the uh, I uh, have in, in the next house. Yes. No, like in you live in Argentina. Yes. Really? Yes. Why? Why because of work. <laughs> because of work. No, no, I came here to study supposedly, but now I'm just here. I have been here for two years already. Really? And what did you study? Mm, no, I already I graduated from Don Bosco actually. So I'm trying to study my master's degree here online, so I don't need to be here anymore. And also psychology, but I'm just studying like one subject every semester so i'm going very slowly <laughs> but the thing is i feel better here because it's um it's safer really so for example yeah. my phone has been with me for two years and in el salvador only for six months the maximum or one yes. year. and then it got and, you know but your uh, family is here in el salvador yes they're not in argentina no in el salvador do you live in gym. buenos aires or where or where i live in the center of Buenos Aires like right in the center you know how you have the obelisk when mm -hmm. you have the center okay I live like one block away from it wow <laughs> just one block away so it's yeah. expensive to live in Argentina um, it's the same as El Salvador if you want to get a room for example with all expenses paid like light electricity internet it's like $150 for a room with everything so it's like living in El Salvador nice yeah, nice. the problem is salaries here are really low right now. That's why I work for El Salvador instead. Really? It's better the salary in El Salvador. Yeah, right now it is. It's better. Wow. Unless, I, I, unless I, you're an engineer or a doctor or no, not even a doctor, engineer or you work for a bank or the government. Other than that, it's bad. And do you know another language? A little Portuguese and French. Oh. Yeah. And you, I told you uh, anything try about me? Really? No. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm new. What? So I don't know. But yeah, for me too. Yeah. Really. You you try you try test the the parrilladas and yeah. all, all the meat. The first Is day the... I started eating meat. Chimichurri. <laughs> chimichurri. You can yeah. do chimichurri. I have tried all of that. But I miss Salvador in the 40s. <laughs> They're the send best. Me, send me the receta. ¿Cómo se dice receta? The recipe. Recipe. Send me the recipe. I have to tell you the, the meat. Myself, really. No. That's weird. Did, anything. Did you prove? Because we only have an hour. <laughs> no, Did you prove Did you try? Kilmes beer? Did you prove Kilmes yeah, beer? Yeah, I think I have tried. I don't like beer in general, but I have tried it. It's okay. It's not so bitter. That's why. That's why I like it. <laughs> nice. You miss you miss the pupusas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I have to make them if I want pupusas. <laughs> it's a lot of work for me <laughs> when you have to make pupusas to boil the beans and get everything ready. Oh no. <laughs> but it's good. So um since I hadn't shared anything with you, I'm gonna send you a link later because I have a channel and I sing and I do a lot of stuff. If you would like really? to support me, thank you. I would <laughs> yes, I'm gonna send you the English link, not the singing one, because you know there it the has nothing to do with the group. Too. No, you can see it later. I'm gonna send that to you personally, Melissa, because it has nothing to do with the group, but the English one kind of does. So that can help you, but not the, okay. the singing one. So I'll send it to you. All right, okay. I have to check our groups, but thank you. Thank you for asking me. That's interesting. Thank you. Like a, a, a salad, right? Yeah. It's, uh... Are you guys done? 
You finished? No, I'm trying to, to answer about the, the question about the person that have two jobs. <laughs> mm. hmm. Okay. But well, you're practicing the dialogue too. Now I try it. <laughs> okay. okay. Teacher, it's only practice the dialogue. Yes, and modify one of them. Uh, okay. You're supposed to modify one of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. changes. And this time, this part, imagine how was your weekend? Alexander trying to do something better than that said, bad weekend. <laughs> yeah. I think we have to go back because the majority already finished, okay? Okay. okay let's go. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. You practice the dialogues and you modified one of them? No. No. Oh, you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody modify the dialogue? No, we were discussing, didn't. discussing about. Discussing it, about the structures. The structures. You think? Okay. It, it looks like my story. <laughs> had to go to a party in a long time too. Uh, yeah. all of us <laughs> guys I have a question for you uh, I have an exercise for you to do in which you have to decide whether to use past simple which is the one I just sent okay past simple past continuous or past perfect so that's difficult. Do you want to do that or do you want to do the exercise that is only about past perfect? What do you want to do? Let's vote. Okay, who wants to do the difficult one? Raise your hand. The difficult one. You're ready. Hey, I have I to do the ex an exam for my master's degree, so I want the difficult. <laughs> I want to skip this question. Okay, well, we're just going to do the one we're supposed to do then. And I you have the link. My hand. I sent you the link, so you have to decide which one to use. Please you know, right? See. The oldest <laughs> event, the oldest event is past perfect. All right. Okay. We're going to do that in groups of three in case uh, one of you doesn't know. Hopefully, one of the three will. So, let me see. Okay. Accept the invitation, please. Let's do the exercises in the link. Hello. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Carlos. Hi. Hey, hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, we are going to talk about uh, the link. Really? Yeah. Are you going to share uh, or Carlos? Uh, no. I think we don't, we don't have the uh, the option. Or yes. Yeah. Yes, we have. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. We, we can choose one of the three. You say it, right? Uh, past, simple past, past participle, or past continuous. Or we can choose to do the, the three of them. No, not in this case. I already have, you already have the, the option here. The one that says also see, yeah, that one. That's the one. You have to write simple past, past participle, or past continuous. Ah, so everything is ah, okay. already. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But but the other sentence he worked, he worked is um simple past. In simple past, right. Uh, so the first sentence, the first the first one and 
sentence. I completely uh, to have uh, after completed, right? Completed. Yeah, completed. So we simple, don't, simple past. We don't have in this one how to check. How to check? Just, just at the end. You have to submit. Because at the end you use past perfect. Okay. I had already this course. Ten. Okay. Maybe. Completed. I think completed. Past participle. Need... No. Sing it up for the Spanish course. Simple task or learned. 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 Mm -hmm. That way? It sounds like the uh -huh. learn English she signed it up for the okay. Spanish course. By the time Mike attend the meeting. Take went to the English. He had bought many books about this country. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, in the end we will see. Okay. Now yes, number seven. When I let, let me let me read all the sentence. <laughs> when I carry a report, she was really upset because or her legs broke. Legs broke. Okay. When I have met. When I had met. I ha I had met when I had met. Kelly at the airport, she was really upset because of her lazy brother. Okay, number yes. eight. Number eight. Um, As I... Mm, try as, to choose, I, as I had tried to choose a right. nice DVD. My friend gave me a call. Yes, it's perfect at the, at the beginning. Yeah, that's right. Oui. Oui, oui. And number nine, Patty. When shopping. And where? Jennifer she, has cried until she Jennifer had is exhausted herself. She, Maybe she, past only simple past. Exhausted. Exhausted. Mm -hmm. exhausted. When I when I met Kelly, she was really upset because as I tried best. Which was uh -huh. uh, no 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 the problem is is my is my I use a uh, capital capital word in the beginning and and let me see and number nine and number nine and number nine 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 number yeah, had learned, had learned is right. Number one, number two is right. 
Number three is attended. Yeah, exactly. Three is good too. And number, number four. four. Had both. Had both. Okay. Okay. Was trying. I, I was trying to choose. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I was trying. But I was trying to choose. Yeah. Why trying, you watch TV? Yes, trying to choose a movie. My friend gave me a call. While you was watching. While you were watching? We're watching, so. Yeah. TV, I was sleeping. Before Adam learned how to You guys have or... questions? We almost we're finished. Watching. We yeah. almost finished. Before Alan oh, had go. to drive the before car, air. he had to go everywhere and food. Before Alan had learned. Learn. Learn. Had, 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 had learned. And had, before Adam had learned how to drive a car, he had to go everywhere on foot. Mm -hmm. I think. You guys finished all of them? No yet, no. No, no, no yet, miss. Okay. The finish. Number two. Can you submit it? Before Check Adam. Check your work and let's see how you did. Before Adam learned. Learn. But they never found the body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, did you finish, or the majority of them at least? Yes. Yes. What did you do? We finish. How many points did you get? Six of ten. Six out of ten. Not bad. Uh, out of ten. Not bad. Okay. What about you guys? The rest of you. Seven. Of ten. Seven out of ten. Good. Who else? Eight of ten. Eight out. Okay, it's not bad. If you got 60 or 70 or 80, that's good. Because if you do it again, I know you will understand where the mistake was. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do for the, uh, for the last 15 minutes is... Hold on. I'm going to send you some questions, all right? I want you to notice how present perfect, I mean past perfect, is being used in the questions. So this is just speaking. The questions are kind of complicated, but if you read them twice, then you'll understand the meaning, okay? For example, the first one, if you have it right now, first one says, do you think that you could be an artist today if your parents had taken you? So that's past perfect. Had taken you to art lessons. So you're gonna say, if my parents had taken me, to art lessons. Right now, I would be a painter, a singer, such and such. I sent you the questions here. So you have to use past perfect in the answers. Is that clear? Yes. All right, let's discuss. Mm -hmm. So this is a speaking practice. All right, ready? Yes. Practicing group. Okay. Hold on. Almost. <laughs> Define ready. <laughs> Follow the model. Just repeat the question and then answer. We were born ready. Yeah. Hey, hello. Is that you? Yes. Seven, seven, eight, five, seven. But I, I already found you. Okay. okay. I, let you. me copy the right answers. 
And you can go to the link and try it for buy. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now I can share the DVD. Okay. Great. Yeah. I've recited. Okay. Probably if my parents had taken me to our lessons, probably uh, when I when I was an adult, uh, when I when when I when I will be a, an adult, uh, probably. I I would I had taken uh, more more art lessons. Laura, uh, the same question. Yes, it's the same. It's the first one that we have in the chart. Okay. In, in my the... case, do uh, I? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, what about who, Melissa? Who, Melissa? Uh, if my parents had taken me to our lessons, maybe I would be like, um, como decís, como de manualidades? ¿Qué hace manualidades? Maybe hands, crafts, salas. With a talent, has burned with these um, creative uh, skills. So I think it's not enough. It's, it's not enough going to, to the lesson to, to be an, art, an artist. Okay. Well, I think I, I didn't know um, um, well, I think I, I, I never need a, a, a lesson for, for the artist, for being an artist, because, because uh, I think the saying of Charlie, uh, that, that kind of skills, you born with that skills. And I think I have that skills. Tell me something <laughs> interesting that I'm relative had done that I'm relative Ah, tell me something interesting that a relative had done before he or she got married. Veronica, are you married? Tell me no, I'm single. Had done before. Carla, <laughs> are you married? No, I'm single. Okay, this must be. I'm us. not searching. Teacher, teacher, are you married? <laughs> yes, yes. How many children do you have? <laughs> How many students do I have? No, have have you married? Hold on. Teacher, are you married? Ah. Oh, ah, are you married? No, mm -hmm. I'm not. Why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In Melissa? In Melissa, no. are you married? No, this, this question is, is not for this group, it's for other groups. It's for another yeah. group because uh, this group is only for single girls. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> Do you remember in the first classes we said the majority in this group were single? Oh, oh no, I don't say. remember. Yeah, or the majority of women, I think. I can't remember. Yay! I, I think the women are single. Power girl. Uh -huh. Let me ask again. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. Until but but uh -huh. the, there's something interesting after Mary. Babe, oh, yeah, before Mary is there. Yeah, before it may, Mary. Maybe maybe travel. Travel, but you oh, can travel yeah. with your husband or your boyfriend or something like that. You can do it together too. I think the problem is that they have children, then it's difficult to travel. Yeah, when but you have oh, children, yes. it shouldn't be. Maybe this is the, the problem. Uh, what important value had you learned from them by the, by the time? What about you, Carlos? 
higher influences in my life was when I, I don't know, when, when I have uh, between uh, 15 and 25 years old. And what important value had you learned from then by that time? Okay, I, I learned about the responsibility and, and about the, um, uh, the, the law, loyalty is, yes, and about the, the, the loyalty. Mm -hmm. Something like that. What about you? Okay. Mm. For me, it was in the poverty, I think. And uh, maybe the value was uh, we have to work hard for a way to follow. And and the important value have I learned from them uh, is uh, try to work always if you need something to get the su successful. Wow, nice. And, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, my parents were a uh, major influence on my life. Uh, they learn, they learn mm. me. Um, more thing, uh, like responsibility. Uh, uh, her, no, his his girlfriend uh, caught him. Uh, he lost uh, the job that week, and too many disaster for a, a guy in a week. Yeah. Okay. Single party. Yeah, single party. Yeah, single party. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Alexander. Can you tell us your your um, your story for this this question, please? Okay. Uh, in my case, uh, my friends. Uh, uh, I don't. Hear it, I my don't friend. Know. Ah. <laughs> I think more. <laughs> no personal stories, Alexander. I think most change is uh, is just more serious. Uh, it's sad. Uh, I have. And what about you, Laura? The same. If I move another country, I expect. Um, for the better um, uh, life quality. A different kind of life too. Yes. Well, uh, Carlos, before you got... ¿Cómo se llama eso? ¿Canguro? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Mm. ¿Canguro? <laughs> Canguro? I don't know. I forgot, I forgot how to say canguro. <laughs> okay. Um, how had you expect your living conditions to change before your family experienced a major change? They just moved to another country or the birth of a child. How have you expect your living conditions to change before your family experience a major change? What? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> how? Have, I don't understand the question. Let me read it again. This question is really hard to understand. How had you expect 
I cannot explain it because we have to go. Sorry, but <laughs> yeah, they're difficult questions. I know. All right, let's go yeah. back. Okay. Teacher, explain the 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 question, <laughs> please. Like number number five. Uh -huh. Let me open it here. Hold on. Maybe we can see it. Okay. All right. I think everybody's finally back. Complicated questions, right? I know. We need more time for a. Uh for explain our point of view <laughs> yes tomorrow we can finish because the majority of you discussed this part but not the second part so we can finish that tomorrow now some people have questions about the meaning of this one it says how had you expected your living conditions to change before this is the before point so you have two right your expectations is the first event and the reality is the second event. So you can say, for example, and you have to think, you have to think of a major change. For example, in my case, moving to Argentina. Okay, so my expectations with the past perfect, number one, and the reality, okay, past simple. Okay, so for example, uh, this is how I would answer the question. Oh my gosh, I have to go, guys. But for example, before I move, to Argentina here, this is the second event. Before I moved to Argentina, I had expected salaries. I was talking to some of you about this. I had expected salaries to be higher, for instance. And now I have an answer, that's it. Second event, first event, but you have to think of the example. So I guess we're gonna continue working with the questions tomorrow. Okay, because there's nothing for you to practice speaking with this topic. This is the only activity we have, All right? I have to go, guys. Thank you very much. Sorry. We had no, thank time. you. All right for me. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> See you.